everyone, it's Pinkology, and I want to come in with this video to talk about my first few weeks on recovery. As someone with something kind of like binge eating disorder, I really enjoyed the first few days because I, I like, I like eating and like I want to eat and stuff. So it was actually really nice because I was just eating, 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 and I wasn't really worried about my weight. But then near the end of the week, I started feeling like I felt like I was eating too much, which is where I like went back into my habits of like binge, restrict, restrict, binge, you know, that pattern. And so like near the end of the week, I was like, oh, it seems like I'm eating a lot. Maybe I should stop. And like I wanted to revert, but I said for a week, a week, I'll try eating a regular amount the whole entire week. Like by the end of the week, I just started feeling bad for myself that I was eating so much. And then I checked the scale and I gained two pounds and started freaking out. And like, I ended up crying because I was just, I was just scared that that pattern was going to continue to happen. Me being two pounds over the weight that I'm used to and then like, it turned two pounds, it turned to four or six. I was getting scared, but the end of the day I realized that this is for the betterment of myself and that this was a positive thing. I also, I kept, I kept getting sad because I lost this, because yes it was a negative part of me, but it was still a part of me that I felt like I lost. I was like, oh, I don't have, I don't have counting my calories, I don't have losing weight anymore, I don't have being a certain number on a scale anymore. And that, that was just such a stupid thing to get sad over because it was like, it's not that deep, it doesn't matter, but, but it mattered a little bit to me. And so I want to point that out. I also noticed that like, that I just, I just felt like I was on a continuous binge. Like the whole time I just felt like, yeah, I've just been binging for like, three days or something, you know? I felt like a, like a three-week binge, and I didn't like it. In the aspect of recovery, like, I didn't tell anyone about my eating disorder, so, like, my recovery process obviously wasn't going to be a big deal to anyone, because no one knew I was struggling, and so, especially today, I just felt extremely alone. Not, like, in my... I just felt alone in the sense that, like, Nobody cared that I was getting better. Nobody was like, oh, I'm so proud of you, or oh, you're doing so great, or like, oh my gosh, I'm happy that you're getting better, because nobody knew, and so nobody knows that I'm like going through a good time, not good time, but like I'm doing something really strong and I need encouragement right now, but it's okay. I'll just continue con encouraging myself and honestly I just I feel very alone in this process like not that it's just like oh I'm the only one who's recovering in the sense like oh I'm I don't know I just feel like nobody cares and I don't know I cried like so many times this morning <laughs> because of it, I was just like, yeah, nobody cares that you're getting better, but I guess I have to be the one who cares for myself, you know, like, no one else, like, I can't expect everyone to care about me, so I'll just have to do it on my own, like, even my sisters, like, don't care that I'm gaining weight or anything, at the same time, I haven't been gaining that much weight anymore, first week I got like I gained two pounds and then after that I haven't like gotten over uh, uh, five plus pounds like I've only been for my original weight I've only been two in between like two plus pounds to five plus pounds so I don't know and my weight is fluctuating in between that which is slightly higher than what I'm used to but it's 
the journey has been okay so far and I've been excited to be able to eat more and I'm very excited to start like gaining muscle mass not just fat like I want to be able to I want to be bulk I want to be strong and stuff and like oh, okay I don't actually want to be bulk but I'm trying to hype myself up so I can I <laughs> yeah I don't know I mean honestly right now my biggest goal is like to gain muscle mass in my buttocks because <laughs> I really want because like I don't know if I were to gain weight somewhere I'd want it there so that's my main goal right now because like if I gain three pounds it's like woohoo three pounds to my butt let's go you know but uh, but yeah anywhere else I'm still kind of insecure about but hopefully I'll get there honestly kind of scared to gain weight because I'm already so tall I don't want to be like that ginormous and like I don't know I feel like my insecurities of being tall phased into like my insecurities about weight and stuff and so I find it difficult gaining weight because I'm already so tall and I can't change my height but I can change my weight so I've always I just want to be petite bro but it's okay because petite petite's not all that let's oh, oh my god fake it till you make it bro because oh, it's so it's so difficult it's so difficult doing this like going against everything you believe but it's okay I'll get there thank you for watching this video and I'm scared that this is gonna be poorly made cuz I didn't really write anything down cuz like this is just like my feelings throughout the week and I honestly think I want to start journaling so I can have a more clear understanding of my emotions cuz this morning the crying fit I had bro <laughs> I I want to be able to like tune that into like real positive impactful energy that I can share with you guys so yeah thank you for watching and have a great rest of your day